Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We got Douglas in the house, and we are on air right at the present moment. Um, I am going to cut and make the, the trunk lid gap bigger and make it so it's better. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open it up because it's hitting there quite heavy in places, and I have to make that fit. So I have to gap that um, in order to... Um, go any further because it's going to be scrubbing, it's going to be tearing paint off, it's going to be tearing primer off. Uh, it needs to be dealt with just like the doors. And Douglas is in the house, and Douglas probably got probably one of the, I don't know if it's, you have to pay attention when, when you're doing this right now. Um, this is obviously the metal flake that I sprayed. Doug is sanding it down. And uh, what we're going to do with this uh, is we're going to take the rough off. Like, as soon as it becomes like that, like, I'm not going to sand that exactly smooth, I do not think. We're going to take the roughness off, and then we'll re-clear coat it three more times, and then it should be fine. Uh, remember, this is a Z50, so it should be fine. Like it's pretty sharp looking Z50, Oh though. man, it's like, something you else. You see this thing. Anyways, um, yes. Doug has got that painstaking job. This, mo this morning, we got... All inside the doors ground out. They were quite rough there before. And uh, Doug has made them all look good. And on the other side, you can see I'll open the door on the other side. We have the top of the door done. So this is all looking nice. And if Jolene wants to show you, because you can look up in there and you can see how that's all been welded along top of there and then ground off all the way along and it's been welded solid. I feel like it deserves it because of the roof structure um, and it needed something up there to close that off. So that was, that was the deal. Made it out of two pieces. Um, it went fairly well. I used an air hose the whole way, kept it cool and uh, now we have a nice looking top of the door. In the, in the roof. Um, yeah, so the trunk lid is basically, no, the doors, I have a little bit of work left to do down here in the hinges. Not sure what I'm doing there yet. Um, there was a set of hinges sent in by somebody that was a fan, and I've never ever used them, and it might be the spot, you never know. Like, it might be the spot to use them hinges. Like, these are kind of messed up. The door's messed up down there. The door's messed up here a little bit. Needs some tweaking, it does. But everything is getting basically welded up, except for the trunk lid. Let's go for it. I'm guessing, let's go for it. So basically what I'm gonna do is, or what I think I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna do just like I did on the door. I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna beat this back a little bit, and open it up. You can see how it's not fitting the best. Oh, actually, it don't look bad on your, probably on your camera, but it's hitting here and it's kind of narrow up there. It should have a little bit more, so I'm gonna cut into it and see if I can't bang it around a little bit and make it work. And then weld it back together, uh, grind it to make it look nice. So both sides of the doors are done, inside the doors. Doug got both sides done, ground inside, looks real nice. And let's start over here if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna take, you can see what's going on here. It's hitting, you know. I can't get I can't get nothing through it, so let's open her up. I'm gonna do something first. I'm just gonna take a look. See what, what I'm going I'm gonna be cutting through. I think I'm going to be fine. Got a dirty squeal there, doesn't it? Yeah. 
I'm just going to see if I can stick a screwdriver in there and pry it back. And if I have to um, open the open the trunk lid and hit it with a hammer, I'll also do that if I have to. Whatever it takes. <laughs> That'll fix her. Hit it with a hammer. <laughs> well, it's going to take what it takes. That's How's that good. going, Doug? I think it's a great idea. Well, I only wore through the paint a couple times already, but we're doing good. <laughs> hey. Uh -huh. This will just save me from... Get a, I'm going to get a chisel instead of a screwdriver. Dun, 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 dun. Still hidden. I'm still hitting there, so I'm gonna just. I'm gonna do this. That's kind of going underneath it there, but I wanna take some more out of that. You can see it's hitting right here. This piece is going underneath of that piece, so I'm just gonna let it keep going because then that, that means there'll be meat there when I go to weld it back together. I'll just butt weld it here at the top. Do you want to go outside, Alan? Okay. Do you want to go outside? Get away from the speeder. I know, it's all awesome. ah. Dang! I don't want to keep doing that, that's for sure. Not in the least in a little bit. I've got it all hooked there. Put foil on those hinges, man. <laughs> that would help. Ah, I see what's going on. There's some kind of in inside construction there. It's a little thicker. Ah, I know exactly what's going on. Um, my exhaust pipe is welded there. You can see how. See how this comes down here like that? That's in my way. It's holding me up. I got it fitting good. Um, I'm gonna have to cut down through it again. Doo -doo. Stop it. Keep hitting that. Don't want to hit that. Don't want to hit that. When we take it back outside, We'll sand, we'll take the trunk lid off, and then we'll sandblast all inside there, but I guess... Stop causing damage to that would be nice. It's okay to fix something, but to damage something while you're fixing it, <laughs> it's not what you want to do. Nope, not at all. Let's check it out. bit of one. I'm going to ram her down through there again and beat it back again. That's all I can do. Like, just looking at the bottom of the trunk lid. Uh, I'm thinking we're down all the way we can go on that. Oh, there's a tight. Let's do it. Nope, wanna put it down. Gonna to have to put you through it, people, I guess. Up, down, up, down, put yourself through it. Probably still not enough. Oh, 
chisel it back this time instead of going crazy with the hammer. And that follows noise. I'm checking on you, Duck. And that follows noise you over there. I'm oh. trying to concentrate here. <laughs> You're over there making a hell of a racket. Here we go, this not look beautiful. I'm like a bull in a china shop. Why he's got me doing this, I do not know, but. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him that, Duck. <laughs> it's Jamie's bike, it's okay. Oh, I understand he'll, more now. He'll understand, right? We're going to take a look at this. We'll we'll start with this. I'm thinking that's that's not a bad gap to start with. We've got primer, uh, we've got we've got filler, we've got weld, we've got primer, we've got paint, we've got all that sort of stuff. Um, th that might it should be maybe a little bit bigger than that, but uh, we got a lot of stuff to to do there, so that'll give us some room. I'm thinking. I think I'm gonna punch it back maybe there a little bit. That's some weld I can grind off a little bit. We'll just get that tab down and try to weld that back up and then we'll continue on all the way across. Be about the same. Nope, gonna hit it first, gonna knock it back up and hit again. Just for, so. I should spray that, where's that? It's a good idea, Doug, I think, spray that. You know that? <laughs> Yeah. I don't want to because it's... Well, it's creaky and it throws it all out of whack. Well, and it what happened too, is right? it'll... I'm going... I want to go to... I like to go to paint on this thing. <coughs> I know, the spray can usually mess things up pretty good, but... Oh it my goodness. Helps. I want nothing to do with it. But. I put some WD-40 on the front hinges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll clean it off for you, pal. Just want to put it in a little bit further. Now, you can see now that's up quite high there. When you look at it that way, let's let's pound it down a little bit. And see if we can start it somewhere. I'm going to cut it again, and then I'm going to try to knock this piece down a little bit. Start there. I'm not going to use my helmet. I'm just going to spot it on because it's going to take me a while to get this rock and rolling. I think I can play with this trunk lid. I can pull this out a little bit, which I might do. Where I'm hacking at this and cutting it and trying to get it down. Come in. Um, I'm just where it's got a, you know, it's rusty there a little bit, and it's got a hack with the grinder there a little bit. So I can get it tacked together, I'm just gonna go bump, just as quick <laughs> as it can bump. Watch your eyes. I left a little bit of metal in there. I'm gonna get right on top of it. Then I can, then I can hit it. So that's how you carry on. That's way better, way better. really quick, then I can spot it right on top of it. Now we're just going to slice it a little bit further and continue on. 
We should be raw cooking the gas now. Let's uh, cut some more. I'm going to cut some more because I'm going to need more. Uh, what am I going to say with this? Basically, I like cutting towards the edge more than, you know, I could cut it here, like more in the middle here. Um, I could do that. But if I get it back enough far on the edge, I might be able to grind it off so you couldn't tell if you know what I'm trying to say. Like, um, only reason I'm cutting it there is because when I put the, bring the two pieces back together, I can grind it off and make it look nicer. If I put it in, in the middle here and beat it back together, then, I'm, then I got a piece of weld going down to the middle of the panel, and then it's hard to grind it and make it not look like it's been there. Just took a little bit more out that time because because that's what my brain told me to do. That's why I did it. My brain told me to do it. Keep them in line, Joe. Like that. Then we gotta check the gap. Okay. I can tap that back a little bit, and I'm going to. It's not bad. I think I'll weld it back together. Next spot or two. Um. Just want to hold it, hold its place. You can, you can see the placement of the weld. I almost can grind that edge off when I'm done. If I want to weld that edge up nice, I can grind it off so you can't tell. That's, that's the reason why I cut it there. And there's so many different ways to do this, so. Um, basically, sometimes that's what slows people down, is thinking, which way do I want to do this? Uh, I've done it enough now that I, I can make up my mind quickly, and uh, I do make mistakes, but I'm human, <laughs> you know. Uh, we're taking the back window out on this one, aren't we, Doug? Yeah, we are. <laughs> did, didn't we? <laughs> we didn't the back even break it. I, I oh! took, it. It was silly of me not to take the window of the last one, but I will for the next one. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Sure. Right. I don't think. Are we done? Never. Hobby cars are never done. Just want that to fit nicer, that's all, before I tack it. I'm looking for this now, and I think I'm getting close. Let's weld it on. Oh, just a quick tack, not trying to weld, just trying to lay something in there. Then I can tack it. Then I can tack it. And when I go back around, when I come back, if I get it all the way across here, I'm doing it like this, every inch I'm tacking it. When I come back, when I start the next weld, start right halfway on this one, boom. Boom, I don't have to do that tick tack patty whack, give a dog a boom. <laughs> Put right on each weld and and start, put a halfway on there, and boom, yeah. you have something to start with. Let's cut some more. It's going good, slow, but it's a process, I guess. Through again, 
because if I feel I, I beat it back now, I still am not going to have what I want. I'm just going to run it through again and give me a little more. chisel so I don't hit nothing. They're not gonna. Hmm. I'm gonna run through one more time. I want the distance. Watch your elbows. Looking good now. I'm loving that. I'm going to tack it where it's good. You can see a spot right here where it's tucked down there quite heavy. I'm going to tack it where it's good. And then I'll come back in there with a the hammer and knock that back up in place. Hopefully I can, I can do that. Uh, next time in, so what I'm going to do now is just keep running that grinder across and keep trying to make a half decent gap for that trumpet. I gotta check on Doug for a second. Sorry. Do, 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 do. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. I'm over right here. On, Doug. Scratchy. <clears throat> right on, Doug. Just sanding through this paint, buddy. Probably have to do one more time. Excuse me, sweetheart, just watch, watch this one. 
I'm going to run the zip cut through again, shrink it a little bit more. I want a bigger gap. Might even hit that a little bit after. Not sure. Good, good, good. I'm going to take I have a screwdriver. I'm going to take these put a screwdriver in there. Just mark, make sure it stays tight. What I can do is just jam it in there. See that? Want to see that? Lovely. Got her nice and tight and right, that's why I'm hitting it. Oh. <laughs> that's how screwdrivers get messed up. Just, just like that. Going with that. Cut her some more. Get up, get out of my face. Trying to do it all at once, see? Making a bigger gap there. Right, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna turn that one on. Let's hit it. What, what's that? Can I do it without them? I can stick a pry bar in there, I can. I don't wanna do that screwdriver because um, it's not what I should be doing. I can do that. Bad lighting, she says, boys, bad lighting. Yeah, possibly, possibly can do that. Just hard to visualize. Not really getting what I. Come on, this side. I just want hammer. Flattens that edge out is what it does, and uh, makes me happy. Do you want me to put a light in there? We'll do then. We'll just put a light in there. How's that? Where would you like it? Inside? Okay. No, I want to just bang it a little bit more. Run the blade through it one more time, I think. It's close, but I want it closer. I want it. Closer. Gap is going to this width for for weld, fill, grinder, primer, paint. Let's 
Just gonna take a look at it. Got to get in there quite a ways. Good. Nice to be here. Just want to tap it in that one a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Good. Good. Time for you to rock and roll, is it, Doug? No, you're stuck with me for a few more minutes yet, bud. Two? A few. Oh. A few. There's another piece that's gonna have, have a problem, an issue. I've got everything connected. I come down here with the, with, I re, it's been a while, but there's a piece of exhaust pipe that runs underneath here that give me a structure to put this back on. And it goes right up into the back side of, of the trunk lid. And I did the exact same thing with the piece in the center so I could weld these pieces on as well right there in the center. Now I gotta cut it and uh, I'm gonna have to probably, I'm gonna have to cut down through it obviously or that edge of it and uh, bang it back and make the most of it just like I did here in the corner. Um, it is what it is. Cut some butter of that time, didn't I? But it needed it. I gotta get in there and take a look. See what's going on. It needs it to beat it back that far. Now, what have we got here? Uh, yeah, I've got my square stock. You can see I got a piece of square stock running in the center there. You know, a piece of square stock running in the center there. And then I propped it up and welded it there. I should be fine because it's welded there, holding the square stock where it needs to be. I just need to cut this end off. When I cut this end off and bang it back where it should be, um, and then I'll uh, weld it back together when I'm when it's done. And, you know, when I go up underneath, cut it and re-weld it. Should not go anywhere. Should not go anywhere. back together underneath there when I go to take a look at it. Probably going to have to run her down through again. Then they're going in the right direction. I'm going to slide her down through again.
Little bit at a time. Let's check it out. Love it. Love it. Yeah, nice. Actually, I'm gonna move just like that. Drop a little well there. Then hit it. Drop a little well. Then hit it. Do the exact same thing over again. Drop a little well. Then hit it. have to beat that. I'm not, I'm not sure they're on the corner yet what's going on, but Gotta keep going. I think. I'm just going to hit a little bit more. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was good. You do that with your eyes shut. Drop, drop a little, weld it, <laughs> you know? Ah. Didn't want to do that, but. All right, we're getting her. Can you tell me when we're over time, sweetheart? This is something that probably nobody really wants to do after they have built something or made something look like this, I guess, out of what we had. But um, it has to be done to, to really make a car out of it. We gotta have them gaps fitting 
decent, you know, decent. Shutter and check it out. I like it because the metal's going underneath there a little, underneath this metal, driving that up, which may actually makes it a better fit for the trunk lid this way. Like it brings it up a little bit, which is great, I think. Which is great. Oh, that's awesome, right there, baby. That's awesome. First one, all the way across, where I got it right on the money. Drop a bit, hit it. Drop a bit. Fitting really good. Fitting really good. Just gonna look across here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do some more. Exhaust pipe when I come to this end. Uh, break <laughs> deep on that, no doubt in my mind. See, See you later. You guys Monday. See you later, Douglas. Have a great day or have a great weekend. Hey, you guys too. See you Monday. See, See you Monday. <laughs> I always hand it through the paint on the tag. The rest of the piece is pretty good. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, what a nice send off that is. Know, right? Yeah, have a great weekend. Have a great weekend, Doug. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. We'll I almost have it all done for you, man. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, so see you guys Monday. See you later. I'm just going to take a look at that if I go too far. Like it. Get her opened up. On these old cars, a lot of work has been done in around the drip rail moldings on all parts of the car. Inside the trunk would have to be filled out. They'll be all pity. And you know just as well as I do, anything with pits in it, that good gap going over there, better. It's all good. Let's um, turn this off. I'm going to bring the grinder to the other side. Ugh. See if we can't get this cut, get this done. Right there, sweetheart. Oh, we're up there now, we're nice. Huh? Stop it.
jitter opened up quite heavy there, but I really don't. That'd be the only place I'm not going to have an issue. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Is where I got it opened up really nice. All the other places, you know. That's good. I'm going to hold that in and weld it. I might let the other ones back out. There's a couple there where it got a little bit wide maybe. I can knock that off and just beat that back out a little bit. Right there where it got a little bit wide on me. Two or three there. I can snip them off and bang them out. Um, I can. Now let's do this part right here. It's a bad one. It's a bad one. Reason being is because there's an exhaust pipe behind this. Knock it in just a little bit further. Now, come take a look at this for a sec, you will. You see, I ripped it right there. It's going to have to be welded back up. I know dropping the weld on it, but that, isn't that handy where a coat hanger would come in, put a coat hanger in that, carry on, no worries, just keep on cruising because you can fix it with, with, with that easy little trick. I like it. I'm going to bang it down some more towards the trunk lid. Drop a little bit, then weld it. Cool. Alrighty, I'm going to look it over a little bit. You'll know what I'll do if I don't like it. I can take and I can let it in or out and put it back in place like this here. I think it's in there a little bit. I can let them three off, bang that back out. Should look fine. Uh, it will look fine. Then what is going to have to happen, when I'm satisfied with what I got going on, I'm going to weld all the way across there, uh, one spot at a time with an air hose. I might do three, one, two, three, four in a row and then air hose it. We'll not put the air hose down here, put the air hose up here. Also, yeah, so basically that's what had to happen there to have that, that work. We got the trunk lid fitting down the back as we put the piece in. If you want to come around to this side, we here we got the inside this door all ground down. Doug did that this morning, got that all ground down. And we have obviously you showed this side, but now we got that side over there. It's all welded and ground, which really looks good. 
and we were able to get it right on the edge there, so we were able to grind a lot of the weld off. And when you're doing certain things, that's, that's the plan, is try to, you know, manipulate where you can weld it. Like with, when I'm cutting on the edge, I'm trying to get it on the edge so I can grind it off nice, basically. Um, certain little things like that. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. I really appreciate it. Uh, it, it had to happen um, to, to satisfy myself. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on this one for paint, but um, the metal flake was sure looking good on the motorcycle. So you just never know. Um, you keep coming back. We'll keep showing what we're doing. And uh, I want you to do all do me a favor. Have a great weekend. Back tomorrow. We'll be here.